they flock here from all over the world. Young soccer players from north and south, east and west, all dreaming of a place on the winner's podium. Expectations are high, and there's a great atmosphere. Dana Cup, held every year in the last week of July, where dreams can come true. Are you ready for Dana Cup? Yeah! Are you ready for Dana Cup? Yeah! Year after year, Yoring is invaded. Soccer players and coaches from 50 nations, 20,000 children and young adults, 1,000 teams, girls and boys, 10 to 19 years old, will run onto the 60 beautiful green pitches located here in Northern Denmark. Welcome to Dana Cup. Bienvenidos a la Dana Cup. Aqua ba Dana Cup. Welcome to Dana Cup. Welcome to Dana Cup. Bienvenido a Dana Cup. Welcome to Dana Cup. When the thousands of young people arrive by train, plane, and ferry, they are met with attentive and experienced guides who ensure that Dana Cup guests and participants immediately feel at home in the accommodation areas, which are mainly located in local schools. Right now we're packing out and getting ready to sleep here. <laughs> the young people are allocated space in classrooms, gymnasiums, and assembly halls. This is where they will live for the next five days. I hope it's going to create yeah, a lot of memories and it's going to be a lot of fun. While soccer is the most important thing, social interaction also has a lot of value. It is at the schools where the young people first meet each other. They hang out, sleep and rest so that they are ready to give their all on the soccer pitch. It is also essential that everyone is served healthy and hearty breakfasts so they have enough energy for the many matches they will play during the week. About 50 buses covering 30 routes ensure teams are taken to where they need to go. The blue train from NT can also be used to travel between pitches, several accommodation sites, and central Yoring. The soccer pitches. Most of the soccer pitches are located in the Dana Cup Center area in Park Ventia. Some pitches are a little farther away. However, no farther than 15 kilometers. The players must be ready for the start of each match. So well-run transport is important. Remember, fair play to everybody. The next few days will determine whether the training at home has been good enough to get the team all the way to the Dana Cup winner's podium. Matches will be played on 60 pitches, both 11-a-side and 7-a-side matches. The preliminary matches will be played in groups with four or five teams. The best teams will qualify for the A playoffs, and the other teams will play in the B playoffs. Matches at the Dana Cup competition are played in accordance with international rules. The players know these rules before they arrive. The sporting reward is greatest when matches have competent referees. Dana Cup and Yoring has many highly qualified referees from all over the world. You can stay up to date at all times using smartphones, iPads, and personal computers. There is free Wi-Fi in the Dana Cup area and in the schools where teams are accommodated. This means that no one should be in doubt about match times, results, pitch locations, bus times, meal times, and so on. Dana Cup has its own free app that you can download. The vibe, the people, the fans, the support they get, I think it's very overwhelming. We like the games and we can make new friends and the girls too. <laughs> I think meeting new people and like making friends. With 20,000 young people competing against each other over five days, injuries will happen. Should someone suffer an injury, the Dana Cup medical tent is ready to receive them. Unique to the competition, Dana Cup offers free massages to players with sore and strained muscles. Friendly chats, some fooling around, and games. There are lots of options in the Dana Cup event area. You can test your creativity, participate in competitions, and play games with a soccer ball. The Dana Cup kitchen is world famous. Always ready with freshly made nutritional food, served in the afternoon and evening. 
The menu is devised by dietitians so that the young people get the right food. This is necessary when they have to give their best on the soccer pitches. Another option available is to enjoy a refreshing swim in Yoring's large swimming pool. A lot of the young people take a break from the soccer to enjoy a swim. And for anyone who wants to take a swim in the open sea, it is only 15 kilometers away from the swimming pool and Dana Cup Center area. It's a lovely sand here and, and the waves are huge and it's just, just so fantastic. Some of the participants choose to stay in hotels and really enjoy this option. One of the attractive hotels is Firia Hotel Flutlix in Hürtzhelz, 15 kilometers from the Dana Cup Center area. Dana Cup guests can also choose to stay in the cabins in the center area. The people who choose to stay in the cabins are close to the events and enjoy both the soccer and the socializing in the cabin area. We are uh, four persons who live uh, in here. There are also several attractive camping options for the Dana Cup participants. Welcome to my nice luxury teepee. A real teepee brings everyone together and even a tent can be luxurious. There are several attractions at the coast. The North Sea Oceanarium is located in Hjutzhelts. It is one of Europe's biggest saltwater aquariums, revealing the mysteries of the sea and its aquatic life. Farup Summerland is one of Denmark's largest tourist attractions. It is an amusement park with activities for the whole family. The last week of July is also when host town Jöring's shopping streets and mall Metropolen are buzzing with summer life. The young participants also have a great time shopping in the large tents that sell leisure and sportswear in the Dana Cup Center area. And of course, they should save enough energy to dance when the Dana Cup non-alcoholic disco is open during evening hours. <laughs> Combined with a more traditional fairground, you have the perfect cocktail. It is also tradition that the many coaches meet up with many townspeople. Things are a little bit quieter when you meet in the Fiber Hall, in the middle of the Dana Cup area. On Tuesday is a proper get-together evening with real Danish Hugo. Turning our attention back to soccer, finals are played on Friday and Saturday. These matches are for the big trophies and medals. It's a great atmosphere when the Winners' Cup is lifted high and the players are cheered by the public. It's not just a great feeling for the winners. All of the participants share a little of that victory and everyone goes home with lots of soccer memories, great friendships, and new experiences. Another Dana Cup ends, but the world's most international soccer tournament for youth teams will be back year after year. We will be back next year and for many years to come. Dana Cup in Joring in Denmark. Every year, the last week in July.